Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. I have makeup, I have household stuff, I have clothes. I just have a bunch of things. Um, and I went a little crazy. So if you guys want to see what I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, then just keep on watching. Okay, so starting off with Marshalls, the first thing that I picked up was this t-shirt. It's just a really big oversized shirt. And it's gray and it says Aloha on it, which is kind of random. But I was just looking for an oversized shirt to wear with my biker shorts that I have they're like pink camo and I can never seem to find a shirt that goes with it but I was definitely looking for something that was oversized and I just thought this was perfect um I don't know if I already mentioned but it's from Aerie so you know it's good quality but it's just so cute and just oversized and I, I just love it so I knew I needed it and this shirt was only $7.99 so you can't go wrong with a t-shirt for only eight bucks and then the next thing I got is super random, but I got this little bin and I actually got this for my coffee bar because we have a bunch of syrups and stuff on a shelf. Like we have like one of those like cube shelves and kind of like what I have back here actually. And we have syrups in one of the little shelves and I just figured it would look better in like a little container and just keep everything organized and visible and that sort of stuff. So I got that for the coffee bar. So the next product I picked up is the Lindo Derma Glove Deep Exfoliation Mitt. And it instantly removes dead skin or spray tan to even skin tone and reveal softer skin. So the reason why I actually got this is because I want to start self tanning more frequently. I used to only do it on special occasions, but I just love the way I look with a tan. I just feel a little bit better about myself when I do it. So I figured this would be the perfect product to start. Now I do use the Tree Hut Scrub and I do really like that, don't get me wrong, but I wanted something that would give me more of an exfoliation. The Tree Hut Scrub does a great job, but I feel like this will do an even better job. But St. Tropez actually sent me over some goodies for me to try. They sent over the classic bronzing mousse, which I've heard nothing but good things about, so I can't wait to give it a try. They also sent over the tan enhancing moisturizer, the bronzing water face mist, and then also a mitt. So thank you so much St. Tropez for sending these goodies over for me to try, but I feel like the self tanning mitt will definitely help prep my skin to use these products and I can't wait. All right, the next thing I picked up, I always thought was such a gimmick, but I've heard amazing things about it. Um, this is the Beauty Boost Hydrating Satin Pillowcase. And I got the king size. I didn't even care what color it was. I just got whatever color was available. So the reason why I got this is it's actually supposed to help with breakouts, friction, bedhead, and sleep lines. Sleep lines I don't really care about. I'm going to get them no matter what. <laughs> but I feel like my skin has been really acting up lately. And also my hair has been feeling really dry. And just like you could tell I'm just rubbing it all over my pillow and causing knots and that sort of stuff. So I feel like this will really help. And hopefully it works and it's not a waste because I've heard really great things about satin pillowcases so I hope this works out for me but this will definitely be going on my pillow tonight <laughs> now the next product I picked up is also kind of random but my mom was looking at it at Marshall's because we went shopping together and I was like oh my god that's so cute and I was trying to justify like why I needed it and my excuse was that I don't have an alarm clock on my nightstand. I only use my cell phone and my boyfriend has one on his nightstand. And every night in the middle of the night, I have to sit up and look at his clock. So I figured it was my time to have an alarm clock. But this one was super cool because it has like Himalayan salt base that actually changes color. And it also, I guess, rises with the sun. It says this alarm clock emits a natural orange light which simulates an actual sunrise along with an effective but non-intrusive snooze function to help you rise with pleasure. Now, I don't know if this is going to bother me in the middle of the night. Like, I don't know if there's a light that stays on throughout the night because the room has to be completely pitch black for me to sleep. So hopefully this doesn't really give me any issues, but I cannot wait to plug this in and give this a try. And not to mention, it is so cute. Like, look at that. So cute. All right, next I picked up this Green Mountain Wild Mountain Blueberry Coffee. I remember my parents used to drink this all the time when I lived at home, and I remember trying it, I think, and I actually really liked it. And I never find this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, so I was like, when I found it, I was like, that's kind of like a hidden gem. I love getting coffee at Marshalls or TJ Maxx because you save so much money, especially K-Cups. They are so expensive if you pay for them full price. Um, but this has 18 K-Cups for $7.99, which is a steal. So yeah, I picked that up because I remember liking it, but I'll have to give it a try again and hopefully it tastes just as good as I remember. All right, so next up I picked up some sneakers because I have no sneakers at all. I threw them all out because they were all old and like, I just needed new sneakers. So I picked up these um, D 
Danskin ones and they're kind of like those like sock sneakers. I don't know how to explain it. Kind of like the Balenciaga ones. Um, but they're just super comfortable and I'm the kind of person where I don't like anything rubbing on my ankle because I have I'm super flat footed like so bad. So a lot of things rub on my ankle and like just it grosses me out and I get really sore. So I decided to get these because they were really comfortable. They're not super tight on my ankle and they're black so they go with everything. Um, but yeah, it has like memory foam and all that sort of stuff. And these are only 20 bucks, so you can't go wrong with them. Um, but I was in desperate need of some sneakers because all I wear all the time is my duck boots from Sperry. So I needed, I, I needed a little bit of a change for the summertime because I would look crazy walking around in duck boots. So the next thing I got is a shower cap. Now the reason why I got this is because my shower is so freaking small that I don't have, like, if I want my hair to be dry, too bad it's not gonna be dry because my shower is so small and I have nowhere to go to keep my hair dry even putting it up my hair gets wet so I was in desperate need of a shower cap so I don't have to wash my hair every single day and it comes with like this cute like case that you can keep like in your shower but I just thought this print was so freaking cute now I'm gonna look ridiculous wearing this but if it's gonna keep my hair dry then I don't really care but look how cute that is and it was only four dollars you can't go wrong so Hopefully this works good, but yeah, I was in need of a shower cap big time. We're getting towards the end. The next thing I got was these biker shorts. Now it's not a print I would normally pick out. But this was all they had that was like semi on the neutral side. I didn't want anything like bright pink or bright yellow. Like I just wanted like some basic biker shorts. I love wearing them in the summer. They are so comfortable. Um, and this has like a little like cell phone pocket too, which I thought was super cool. I did kind of like stretch them in the store with my fingers like behind the thing to see if they were see-through and they don't seem to be see-through, which is like crazy because usually cheap leggings or biker shorts or shorts in general can be really see-through and these aren't. And these are only $8, so the print is not bad. Like it's actually kind of cute, but not something I would normally pick out. Now, the next thing, if you watch Shit's Creek, you know all about this. I had to get it. That show was so freaking funny. I had to get the shirt. Um, but it says Rose Apothecary, and it's basically David's store merch, and I just had to have it. Um, it was really cheap. It was $8, and I got a large, so it actually looks big for a large, not gonna lie. I feel like shirts that I see in a large like fit me perfectly, but this is actually like, kind of big, which I'm not mad about at all. Um, but so I had to get that, like... I saw it and I was like, add to the cart. Okay, so now for TJ Maxx, the first thing I got is this Rowenta, I think is how you say it. I'm not sure, but it's this like lint remover, like shaver thing. My sweatshirts and my leggings are so bad. They have like so many like little lint balls on them and it, it's not a look. So I knew I needed one of these, but I always looked for them at TJ Maxx and I never found them, but then again, I didn't really look hard enough. Well, my mom used this on my sweatshirt the other day when I went to visit and it did such a good job. I was like, okay, I need to look for that next time I go to TJ Maxx. And I ended up finding it that same day. So I picked it up, it was only 10, no, 9.99. Yeah, it was only 9.99. So I'll have to use this on my sweatshirts and make sure it works properly. And I can only imagine how much lint is gonna come off of my sweatshirts and my leggings it's ugh. okay next up this isn't really for me this is actually for my grandmother these are um meal prep containers now when i make um food like dinner for my boyfriend and i and we have leftovers i package them in containers and i bring them to my grandmother's the next day as you guys know i take care of her so whenever there's leftovers i always give it to her and she eats it all the time so i needed a container that was going to be okay if she threw it out because she does have dementia so i figured i would get her her own containers and if she throws them out no big deal these were wicked cheap it was like i don't even know what's the price tag it was 4.99 for seven containers so super cheap so if she throws these out no big deal i'm not worried about it but i wanted to get her her own specific containers and i also really liked that it had like a little divider in it so if i wanted like if i made her like chicken and rice and i want it to be in separate containers i could totally do that so and their dishwasher is safe and everything so next up did not need this at all i have plenty of hair brushes but just the picture on it was calling my name this is the wet brush pro pro detangler you can tell why I got it. It's got lipsticks on it. 
I needed it. And I love wet brushes too, so. You really can't go wrong with too, too many hair brushes. It's not like I'm never gonna use this. Um, this was $7.99, but I honestly just got it because I had lipsticks on it. So that was definitely an impulse buy. I also got these two MAC lipsticks. This is the Powder Kiss lipstick. I got the shade Kinda Sorta and also something buzz dubbing it dubbing it i don't know i could totally be butchering that knowing me i probably am um but i love the packaging of these lipsticks look at that color that definitely screams fall it's just so pretty and then kind of sort of reminds me of like a kylie jenner lip color but it is super super pretty oh love it so i got those and they were only 7.99 each Alrighty, we're down to the last few products. The first thing I picked up was this American Eagle Soft and Sexy shirt. I love the Soft and Sexy line. Every time I find a shirt at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I always buy it. It is so soft, so comfortable, and I'm obsessed with it. So this one was kind of cute because it kind of has like a higher neck. It's not a turtleneck, but like kind of close to a turtleneck. Um, and like I said, their shirts are just so soft and it's super like flowy, not super tight, which I like. I honestly, I used to have a shirt that looked almost exactly like this. The only difference was the shirt that I used to have had like a keyhole cut out in the front, which was super cute. But obviously that shirt got way too small for me as I got older. So, but I cannot wait to wear this. It's going to be so cute and it's so freaking comfortable. Like it's ridiculous. All right. Next, I got another shirt because I was in need of some short sleeves. I literally don't have any. I mean, I do, but I needed more. So this one was super cute. I actually found this in the women's section, which I usually just stay like in the junior section. I don't know why, but it's so cute. It's like a white camo, super, super soft, super flowy. And this was $14.99, so super cute. I cannot wait to wear this. It's so freaking soft. The next thing I picked up was the Shiseido Facial Cotton. Whenever I go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I always pick this up, especially when I find a big package of them because I feel like they can be really hard to find. But while I was doing my makeup today, I actually ran out of mine, so this is perfect. But I love these. These are like the only cotton rounds that I use. They're a little bit on the pricier side, like $8 for cotton rounds, kind of ridiculous, but I love them and they're totally worth it. And you get like a bunch in here. I think it's 165 sheets. That's a decent amount. All right, the last and final product of this haul is the Pure X Barbie Iconic Lips. This is their signature semi-matte lipstick in the shade Trailblazer. This was $3.99, which is so stinking cheap. The packaging, beautiful, love it. Sparkly, very Barbie-esque. And then you press it, or no, this side, there you go. And you get your lipstick. How freaking cute, and that color, like, come on. Totally my color, so, had to get it. So yeah, guys, that completes my Marshalls and TJ Maxx haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.